Hi, I'm Jackie. Um, I've got two Welsh Springers and I've been doing Bite Jaw for about eight months now. Um, before that we did Canny Cross but we moved across into Bite Jaw. Um, we do take part in races but we're by no means fast. We do it very much for fun rather than for the competing. We do it for the social side of things. For the last six months I've been running Introduction to Bite Jaw sessions where I'll meet up with one person on their own with their dog and give them a taster. I provide as much equipment as I can so that the dogs can actually run in the correct equipment and give the people a feel for how the dog will do and how much they'll enjoy it before they need to invest any money in anything. Uh, this is Jo and her dog Riley. Um, they put on Facebook that they'd like to have a go at Bite Jaw and because they're local to me I agreed to meet it up and take them out. Jo provided her own bike but I've provided the Bite Jaw arm, the line and the harness. Um, this is one particular type of harness that I like running dogs in. It's designed for dogs to actually work. It gives them free movement of their shoulders and makes sure that the actual pulling is from the right point on their chest rather than from their neck. I carry various sizes of harness so we can make sure that it actually fits the dog that we're actually working. Like most dogs, Riley took a little while to get the hang of going. He wanted to have a play, but once he realised that it was meant to be pulling out front, he actually did quite a lot better. I think Joe was quite pleased with how he went today. Yeah, definitely. We tend to find that once the dogs have had a couple of goes, they get more into the sport and they like going out in packs and running with other dogs and get a lot of satisfaction from being in that group. But for the first go, it's quite often better to just go one-on-one -on -one to let them try out in safety. So Joe, what did you think of it today? It was a lot of fun. Very muddy, quite scary to start off with, for especially when he just started going and started to get more of the hang of it. And when you, when you went past and he started going faster, it was quite scary. But I definitely think it's quite an addictive sport mm. and I hope to certainly have a go now. And it's really helped having you come to meet me because I've wanted to try it for probably 18 months but I haven't, I've been really confused by what kit I needed and everything and what would suit my dog. So it's really helped that you've come to meet us today. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the mud on the place. <laughs> You're welcome, anytime. Thanks. <laughs> the first time we go out, I'll always go out with the people. I generally take my two dogs. I find that having my two to follow helps a lot. If I do have another reliable person that can come with me, then I'll let them go in front and I can watch from behind and see how the dog's responding. But definitely, at least me, will be going out with you. In terms of moving forward, I mean, we had a, a quick chat earlier, Joe, and if you can get your partner to cycle in front and call him, yep. that'll certainly get him moving up front and getting pulling into the harness, okay. which will help. And then if you can, come and join the group as well. That will be the next stage. Mm -hmm. Just one piece of advice is the first time you take the dog out, don't do too much. And the first time they're working in harness, you will actually be surprised how tired they get. It's totally different mindset and body for the dog. Um, even if they're used to doing something like agility, you'll find that they get more tired than normal. So don't push them the first time, keep it fun. If you can find somewhere that's got trails through woods, the dogs find that a lot more enjoyable and you can certainly work on your um, commands of left, right, slow down, stop. Um, where we've been doing it today is quite boring for the dogs, um, so if you can find woodland, um, but just make sure you're allowed to cycle and run dogs there. If you want to have a go at Bike Jour, the easiest way is to join the Bike Jour in UK group on Facebook and just post on there that you'd like to have a go and where you're from and then somebody local to you will sort of meet up with you and give you a go. Um, if you're around Hertfordshire way then that'll probably be me, but there are plenty of people around the country who can do something similar.